50 years ago tonight, one of the most dramatic, exciting, and really important events, not just in Atlanta sports history, but in Atlanta history period. Henry Hank Aaron blasting his 715th career home run, breaking Babe Ruth's record. Deep and straight away. Fastball is a high drive in the deep left center field. Buckner goes back to the fence. It is gone. Okay, it was 9.07 p.m. at Old Fulton County Stadium downtown when he broke that big record. During his chase of the record, you might remember he also battled racist threats that came verbally and via written word. But here in Atlanta, we embraced him, the city embraced him. And on April 8th, 1974, the chase ended in front of more than 50,000 fans. And now we can all relive that night and really everything leading up to that hit today. Aaron's widow, Billy, she helped open the Atlanta History Center's new exhibit, More Than Brave, The Life of Henry Aaron. It traces his life from his upbringing in Mobile, Alabama, through his baseball career, and then, of course, his work with the Braves organization. His home run ball flew 385 feet, but the significance of that moment, a black man in the Deep South breaking the most iconic record in sports in the aftermath of the Civil Rights era, well, yes, that still has momentum today. We were kind of depressed 50 years ago because we were right in the wake of Martin Luther King's assassination. We were still trying to find our direction. And so it was the beginning of the new possibilities that we now see as Atlanta. And we also saw some of Aaron's teammates from that 1974 Braves team today. Look at them. The exhibit at the Atlanta History Center runs through September 2025. And that's not it because the Braves are also celebrating the 50th anniversary of number 715, 715 tonight at uh, Truist Park before their game against the Mets. That's right. The ceremony will begin in about 90 minutes. And don't be surprised if you see a whole bunch of special guests there. Reggie Chapman joining us at the ballpark tonight. So, Reggie, you caught up with someone who was actually in the Fulton County Stadium on April 8th, 1974, and he is back tonight. Hey guys, yeah, it's been an action packed homestand for the Atlanta Braves as they start their season with plenty of fanfare. But tonight's party, 50 years in the making, and a special moment for Randy Cox, who was actually on hand for that game, covering it as a journalist. He was the sports editor for the Valley Times News in Lynette, Alabama. He convinced his paper to drive out here and cover that moment in history. All these years later, he put together a book called 715 at 50, the night Henry Aaron changed baseball and the world forever documenting photos and firsthand accounts from that day. He told me at his book signing in the battery pregame what that moment was really like. He hit his 600th home run. I was lucky enough to be there for that game and I was with the uh, uh, I was going to Georgia State and was doing it for journalism. But then we were talking to him after that game and we asked him, uh, well, what about the 715? Well, he said, I'm just not really thinking about that. Three short years later, Aaron came up and the first time he swung at the ball, that was his 715. Then everybody went nuts, went crazy. And I got to go over and shake his hand and congratulate him. It was a, a moment in Atlanta people will, will, not, will never forget. And I, I'm just a glad that I was able to be a little, bit, a little part of that. Randy and other fans who were on hand for that game got free tickets to tonight's game if they could prove that they were there. And he told me that it was very easy to prove it when he was able to show them the book. He's very excited to be here tonight for some history.